So hello and welcome back to Goombuddy's Coins and Banknotes and in today's video we are going to look at the Canadian coin and this is a 25 cents from 1953. So this one is in high grade but there are two varieties in which you can look out for. So these are not errors because they, they are deliberately made. So... <sighs> What we need to look for first is turn over to Queen Elizabeth's side. And if you look at her shoulders, this one's a strapless variety, but roughly about there, this should be a strap. So that's the first thing you need to look for is the strap. Next thing you need to look for is the lettering. So Sharif's are points that come out of the actual letters and if we zoom in hopefully it's not oh, it's not that good so at the back of the e we have points coming up so this sharif it's what you look for this one seems to be a double die hmm so we've got lots of errors on these lots of cuds so this is also an error coin uh and we have sharifs on the i which is the most uh, prominent place to look for them. And there's another variety which doesn't have the shreefs on these coins. So that's what you would be looking for on the effigy side. On this side, you've got what we have the large and the small date system. So this looks like a re engraved date. So it's and it's also a large date system. And this one's a bit harder to tell. So you need to actually go to a website. But the only way I can tell is that on... So this is a large date. And the 9 is quite a fair way from the actual moose's point. If you get a small date, the 9 is almost touching. But it's a bit hard to tell. So you need two coins to compare uh, to find out what you're actually looking for. And yeah, the five does look like it's pre engraved. So I only purchased this one for a few dollars, but it's uh, probably going to sell for at least 20 to 30 dollars, which I'm happy with. Um, and the lettering. No, the lettering looks fine. So that's basically the features that you need to find on this coin. So you're looking at the small and large date. This one's a large date. I don't have a small date to compare it with. And you're also looking for the Sharif's on the lettering. As well as the uh, little, little uh strap on coin list with the second so the mintage coin for this is 10 million about 10 and a half million and based on numista they're about 50 50 between the large and small dates and this one's also a bit damaged on the head but it's a quite a nice coin shouldn't be too hard to get in high grade this one's probably extremely fine it's better than very fine and it's probably too good for an almost uncirculated coin. But it does have a lot of errors on it as well. A lot of uh, re-engraving of the actual lettering and the date. So I hope this helps you with your Canadian coins. Uh, now, in uncirculated condition, just a normal one. Sells for about 10 to $20. But if you've got small errors like this, obviously it's going to increase the value by quite a bit. Anyway. Thank you and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time.